ओके गाइज वी हैव सीन द सेकेंडरी स्ट्रक्चर प्रिडिक्शन यूजिंग फायर विच टेक लॉन्ग टाइम फॉर प्रिडिक्टिंग द सेकेंडरी स्ट्रक्चर and projected model but now let's see another very very reliable and also a technique which will which will give us the result in a blink of a second not actually blink of a second but in a in a moment right on in a one minute or two so let's type xpsi and it will take us to the xpsi which is the swiss Inform Bi institute of bioinformatics so we'll click this first link and we'll go to the xpsi server and i love xpsi server as i have told you always that uh, what we need to do here we need to predict the secondary structure of our desired protein which is here human prion protein so simply go to this server there are a lot of things going on here there are tools different categories like proteomics genomics systems biology population genetics imaging and all these things what we want here is a modeling of a protein sequence and the modeling of protein sequence can be obtained here at the right hand side where you get the popular resources which is a uniprot kb and also swiss modeling now here we'll be clicking on this swiss modeling so please focus on here we'll be clicking on to the swiss modeling link it will take us to the swiss model server now here it is in the swiss model a server page but we get here are the modeling types my workplace automated mode alignment mode project mode and all these things what we'll click here we as we are not very much advanced we are just at the beginning of our bioinformatics practicals we simply click the automated mode not the project mode because for the project mode is for them who actually doing active research using bioinformatics so they can modify the their search according to their need so we need different imaging process and programming you must understand those things before going into this project mode so simply click automated mode which is for you which is for us which are simple so you click uh, this automated mode and here it is the page in this page what we get here we get uh, we can provide the email address so let's put the email address here comes the email address we put it project title it's uh, let's say uh, human prion protein structure so this is our project title and what we'll do we simply paste our sequence now this is the human prion protein the sequence is in fasta format that we have downloaded from the server from uh, NCBI. So simply put this here, and here we can also in the advanced option we can give the protein data bank ID of that sequence that can give us a better uh, structure prediction. But we don't require this. These are optional, so we don't uh, always uh, we, we don't need to give them. Simply paste the sequence, give a project uh, name, and also give our email ID and click on submit for the modeling. It will take our query and it will start to process this. So here. Uh, so system will run soon and it will provide us a result and it is submitted so it this page will be updated after so here for the result to be displayed click on to this page so if, if we click this page it will redirect us to the result page so this is the page which is uh, going to be updated when they every, when everything is done and as we have provided uh, the sequence as we have provided our email id it will uh, when the result is done it will uh, provide a link to our email ID so that we can check the results. So most of the time what bioinformatics do they just put this uh, results and then click submit and then wait and do other jobs and meanwhile after one two hours and whatever time it will take if they go back uh, to their site and just uh, they, do go, they go back to their email ID and can retrieve the sequence from there by clicking the link that they have uh, posted by this Swiss model workplace. Okay. So this uh, timing is depend upon uh, how many long sequence you are provided and all these things. If you provide short sequences, then this will be processed soon. If you provide sequence of uh, 30, 40 uh, amino acid sequence or 60 amino acid sequences, the results will be uh, provided pretty soon. But if you provide long, large sequences, it will take some time. Okay, so need to wait for some time. On the other hand, this process is also running, which is our fire uh, constru construction of the model using Fire2 software. This is also running. So here it is. The submission of the status of the request is running now. It was previously simply submitted, but now it's running. It suggested our sequence is running for matching the 
ideal modeling so you need to wait for some time so let us pause the video then when the process will be done I will resume the video here we go guys now that is the result they have shown us it uh, took almost uh, one hour to get this result so this is the predicted uh, secondary structure of human prion protein so remember this is our job title it was given here and if you look click on to this page this image it will give us uh, the image so let us allow the java applet to open so it will open the java applet and we can visualize the image now before visualizing the image they are also giving us some quality estimation here what is having we are looking at the scores depending upon the prediction and what it is suggesting us is the z score is minus 0 0.29 so solvation energy so everything it is given uh, in this form so if we go down you can see for alignment if you click the alignment again you see the alignment because for any kind of secondary structure prediction you must have the secondary structure alignment so the alignment is done this is the target sequence and this is the sequence from database they align the sequence uh, and then this is the modeling log how to model this it was provided here template selection is again provided and ligand modeling log is also given here okay anyways we don't need to look for that but what we need to look is this or uh, this z score which is a very very important parameter where it is the z score or z score it is important because if you look at the score components and click this z score of the individual components of cumin uh, the average z score of high resolution structure is zero so the better uh, the structure of the resolution uh, the z score will be z towards zero so zero is the highest z score that is available and whatever we are going we are going towards zero so negative side is giving us a pretty good resolution structure in this case and this is the absolute uh, model quality and this this is also called the q mean z score it's a measure for the absolute quality of a model the q mean score of the model is comp Paired or uh, to scores of high resolution reference structure solved by X-ray crystallography and the z-score is calculated here in this case. Okay. Q mean score. What is Q mean score? It is a global score of the whole model reflecting the predicted model reliability ranging from 0 to 1. So the score that we get here is higher for this one. All atom pairwise energy is very good. So we we'll get uh, the score pretty close to 0 in this case, but uh, the Q mean score is minus 1.27. So it is the comparison of the score that we can get directly from the extra crystallographic 3D structure of that protein of our interest and also the secondary structure predicted by the protein of our interest. Okay. And this is the residue error plot. Uh, by looking at it, we can tell that where are the errors have occurred in our sequence at this particular site. So this is the residue number and this is the predicted residue error. The residue error is higher at the very beginning. So the residue uh, from 10 to 15. And again the residue error is least at the residue number 70 to uh, 80 to 85 range. Then again residue error becomes higher at the last. So N terminal and C terminal is having the higher residue error. Rest of the part are good residue. Uh, residue error is less. Now this is the picture of uh, the projected model of our uh, structure. As you can see in previous case with the fire uh, structure we get a different structure but here we can say another structure. Actually I recommend students to look for the fire structures because that structure is much more um, closer uh, than this kind of structure because we have seen the 3D structure we, we are going to see the 3D structure of it using PDB and you are, you are going to see that the structure will be more similar with the uh, structure predicted by fire instead of the structure predicted by this Swiss, Swiss model tool. Okay, so we can save the PNG values and the z score values. Uh, z score value uh, nearer to zero is good. Now we can see diffraction in z score. So this prediction is not that much good. So we won't be, won't be stick to this kind of prediction. We'll be taking this prediction by the fire. So I recommend always to get the prediction by, by fire square because it is resembling very very close structure so that's it i hope this will help you thank you